Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. I, 25M, finally told my wife, 25F, no for the first time and it's not going well. TLDR, I told my wife I'm not comfortable talking about something from my past for the first time and she's not okay with it. It's a pretty long story, even though we've only been married for two years. I'll try to keep it short. I haven't been the best husband and there's been things I've done that have ruined her trust in me, so I understand where she's coming from. Because of that, I've been pretty open with her about everything in an attempt to make things better. That was early on, so it's been over a year since that all happened. I'm pretty sure I have depressive tendencies, nothing suicidal, but it definitely has an impact on my life. During one of these times, my wife and I were talking and I mentioned how I feel disgusted with myself. She tried to push for it and I told her the general body image stuff, I gained 60 pounds in 3 months about 2.5 years ago and haven't done much about it yet, embarrassed smiley face, that's a different story though, but she could tell there was more so she pushed more and I came back with something like you don't know everything I've done or thought about so you wouldn't understand. Probably not the best choice of words on my part I guess. She kinda freaked out about that and started pushing, asking what I had done and for me to talk about it with her so I could move on. Normally at that point I would probably talk about it like in the past, but since this was more mental slash emotional stuff going on in my head, previous stuff was more about what I've done and I don't do well talking about those, I told her that I don't want to talk about it. She pushed more and I told her I don't feel comfortable talking about it, that it's just stupid stuff that isn't that big of a deal and wouldn't impact her like the other stuff did. She didn't like that either. We've been going back and forth for probably 4 days now. Her constantly asking what it is and why I'm hiding stuff from her, me telling her that I don't want to talk about it and that I don't want her to be my therapist. Stuff like that. There was one point where she asked what I wanted her to do and I told her something like I just want you respect my wishes and give me space, and that even a friend would respect that when it's something I'm uncomfortable about and she responded with well I'm not your friend, I'm your wife and kept pushing. This morning she told me that if I really think it's not that big of a deal that she'll stop pushing for it but that she can't forget about it or move on from it until it's dealt with, which tells me that she'll probably bring it up again when she thinks I've moved on to a more complacent state of mind, or just the next time we have another chat about that type of stuff. Honestly I'm not sure what advice I'm looking for, just seeing what people think of the situation I guess. Maybe different ways of handling it or something that could help me deal with it. It's the first time I've straight up told her no about anything, other than food lol, and it sucks. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Well, you did word it poorly, you don't know everything I've done or everything I've thought of. The fact that you brought that up how disgusted you were with yourself, would bring up major red flags. Coupled with you said you had broken her trust in you, so for those reasons, I say she has reason to be a little obsessed. I think that you need to give her some insight into whatever it was, or understand that you have placed something in the middle of your relationship that she will always wonder about. I feel like that is like saying, I have a secret but I am not going to tell you. Like then why bring it up at all? I agree she should drop if before it gets super annoying, but also I can understand why she wants to know, you made it super intriguing. Duh. She sounds obsessed, true open communication is important in any healthy relationship. But when your partner asks for space that doesn't mean you hound them till they spill. This to me is a red flag. She sounds like she may be very controlling in your relationship. What other ways or areas would you say she tries to control most? Another cheating story. Boyfriend of 5 years cheated on me with friend. Some backstory, boyfriend used to be very controlling and abusive, not physically, but socially isolating me from friends and family and controlling me what I wear who I can talk to I have always been loyal to him we were slash our even high school sweethearts, but I broke up with him due to his treatment of me but we got back together a few months later. Main story, so me, F19 and him M21, get back together, He'd constantly shit on me once we got back and say things to intentionally make me feel bad because he liked making me feel bad, also making it a huge point to tell me about women he thought was hot and intentionally checked out another girl in front of me to make me feel like shit he even taunted me asking if he should ask for her number, it destroyed my confidence and then it happened, he cheated, with an old mutual friend online and he fucking hit it and gaslighted me about it, we had originally met her on fucking Valorant. He got her number and they had begun texting he didn't tell me I had to figure it out in my own, he blamed me when I found out he even gave her his address and told her things like he wanted to explore her body and asking her for nudes, their affair wasn't physical but was still sexual in nature, then some time passes, obviously separated when that happened, 
and he comes crawling back and to be honest it felt like it was because I was his only option, and I'm not the smartest but I really loved him and took him back, maybe there's something wrong with me. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Maybe this is why guys ask for nudes. They're not really single and never intend to meet. Op, you need to get some therapy to heal yourself and find someone that will love you, the piece of shit you currently call your BF is not that person. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and, and hit the notification bell.